Hey Andy, what's up? Damien here. Uh, I got your wave and I wanted to give it a try here on Pacto. Uh, so let's see what I can find. Again, I'm not a professional coach by any means, but I think I can help with a couple things. And yeah, hope, hope you like it. Hope everything is okay over there. So I got your, your video with a couple turns. So this is one turn that you sent me. Uh, it's nice. You're surfing a lot better, by the way. Like your, your progress is amazing. And uh, this is one that I have also there. Let me flip this one so we were surfing on the same direction. And we'll be able to see things better. So I will play both in slow motion. And let's see what's happening. This is super slow motion. I hope you can see a couple of things that I'm already seeing. One thing that I that I learned uh, over the years is that with surfing, your your arm is your guide. So whatever you put your arm in your shoulder, this is where things will go. So if you if you use your arm to pull this way, the nose will go this way. Will will follow you. So as you can see here. My, my shoulder, let me go back here and go slowly. So take a look at my wave there. I'm using my, my shoulder here to go this direction. And I'm rotating my upper body to take me there. I'm gonna play. And at this, like right in the middle of the wave, I'm transitioning. So right here, not up there, right here, I'm transitioning the, the like changing rails. And if you see now my shoulder, my whole chest will rotate around just on my upper body to kind of go this direction, right? And then that will bring the board with me and it generates all that energy. It's almost like I'm, I'm using it as a spring, like to push it. And when I look at your wave here, look at the differences in, for example, here, right here. Look at the way my, my shoulder is already rotated my upper body is, is already rotated. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it into one direction. And after I transition here, I just let it explode and spring back to that direction. And as you can see here, I'm, I'm using my, my arm here and your arm is here. So from, your, from this part to your upper body here, you could be rotating a lot more to generate, uh, uh, generate all that energy and then if you, I, would, I would expect your arm to be somewhere here as well to, to kind of boom, rotate and give you that power. And same thing here. So your front arm, look at the differences. I'm, I'm already using that to kind of pull it here. And you can see it's, it, it keeps rotating this direction. Right, and you're kind of stopping the movement because your arm, your upper body is now rotated, kind of pulling you first, and then the board will would follow. So my suggestion here is try to lead more with your shoulder, so in your arm. So if you wanna do like a turn and pull it, just use it more, and then pull it like open your chest more rotate your upper body more to generate that spring because that spring will bring the board. Let's see another part. All right, here I have another wave that's uh, similar to that one. So just a different turn, but similar details. So let's watch yours first. And you can see that you're not kind of leading with your shoulder. That's what I can see again. I'm not professional by any means, but that's what I can see. You're not leading with your shoulder. And when you're doing that, you're kind of breaking it a little bit. So if you look at 
your your wave in slow motion here you see that yeah, that's perfect bottom turn you're going up very nice you're transitioning at a good point but at this point you would be nice first of all i think you you could be already engaged this rail a, a little bit sooner but then when you're doing that i would expect your chest to be kind of facing me right now facing the camera like rotated your upper body rotated a little bit more so if you look at my wave here in slow motion you can see i lead with my shoulder and i go up i transition a little bit sooner than you to start engaging the rail and as i do my whole my whole chest is a lot more visible because I was rotating it more and I'm I'm using this arm and this other arm to use that to give me that energy to bring the board later when you finish like really strong but this arm is kind of killing all the energy right like it's it's kind of going against this movement if this arm was somewhere here uh like let me see if i can like here you would be using that energy to continue to pull during the turn so that's another point again i hope that i hope you can see that if you see it like both ways in slow motion you'll be able to see that difference So I transition a little bit sooner and I use my chest a little bit more. I rotate my upper body a little bit more during the transition. That's what I can see. Okay, let's see another part. And the last part here, uh, I'm using um, a backside wave. So just to get some uh, variety here. So let's see, I will play this and we'll see the differences. So if you look at how things are happening here, I think it's the same tip, but now it's a little bit different. But again, it goes back to your shoulder telling you like what direction you want to go. So if you look at super slow motion here, we start very similar, but at this point, I'm still rotating my upper body that way, and you already started to turn. So you kind of started to turn a lot sooner. So imagine if you were still rotating around your upper body, around this part here, like this upper body rotating around your uh, waist area here, right? And then one thing that I learned and I'm trying to get better at is I think the best backside turns are the ones that your, your board is like doing the bottom turn, but your upper body is open and facing the wave entirely. Those are the best ones. And I think if you can do that here, like try to rotate your upper body a little bit more leading with your shoulder you would be able to rotate a lot more and you can see my arm also finalized that rotation here and yours is already kind of going against this movement because you're trying to switch direction maybe too soon and as i get there i rotate the other the, the other way as fast as I can. First my arm and then my board will follow. So your upper body and your shoulder really directs you to where you want to go. So that's it, my friend. Hope it helps you a little bit. Uh, if you have more videos, please send and I can try to give you some tips here and there. But you're, you're surfing 10 times better than the first time I saw you. Uh, ripping. Hope everything's good there. See you, my friend.